Hey, rappers, greedy, baby, sticky seeds with 50 as a pop or kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see. Cause God loves movies. Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Doug. And I love movies. Yes! I love movies! <laughs> I like the one person who's just like, yay! Coming to you from our first ever home, the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater in Los Angeles, California! All right, it's uh, Tuesday, August 7th, 2018. Uh, I saw some great name tags when I was just out on the road in Montreal and Traverse City, Michigan. So show me what you've got, Los Angeles. Not so great. Oh, wait. Wow, it's like a left brain, right brain thing going on here where uh, everybody on this side of the house just sat this one out. <laughs> this guy up front is just like, I'll just have my arms crossed. That'll get the job done. He's like, I don't know what the hell's happening. I, I came here to see some improv. <laughs> well, most of this is made up on the spot. Uh, that guy over there made a name tag, though, called Halloween. Because your name's Ian? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like for a movie that's not even out yet, we've got over there, we've got Mary Scott Inns Returns. Yeah. That's a gentleman named Scott, I'm guessing. What's this fear and loathing one? What does that say on it? Sophia and loathing, Sophia and loathing in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, but now in Los Angeles. All right. Well, we got a, We definitely, <laughs> we definitely have enough uh, for people to choose from, and uh, good luck to everybody. <laughs> Doug plugs Atlanta this Sunday at 4:20. Doug loves movies returns to the Variety Playhouse. Wednesday, August 15th, I'm doing stand-up at the Improv in Tampa, Florida. Saturday, August 18th, DLM at the Orlando Improv at 420. And if you are attending Ellis Mania in Las Vegas, be sure to check out Douglas Movies on Saturday, August 25th. And then we're back here at the UCB Franklin location on Tuesday, August 28th. For all my upcoming stand-up and podcast shows, go to... DougLovesMovies.com DougLovesMovies.com Yeah! Alright, well, that's uh, for first time listeners people love movies and birds of prey Let's look in the prize bag. Oh my God. I, I'm so excited about the prize bag this week. I, you know, I, I even put something on uh, the internet today showing off what I was going to bring because I really thought, uh, you know, that might move a few more tickets. A few more people might show up. Who bought their tickets today? Yeah? Did you buy your ticket because you saw me seeing what you could possibly win tonight? No. No, you just bought a ticket. I don't know why I bother. But... Uh, <laughs> One of the sponsors of tonight's show is uh, uh, providing a nice uh, coffee beverage. This is uh, this is our fr from our friends at Monster Espresso, the uh, energy coffee, a, a new advertiser. This uh, particular flavor is sal salted caramel or caramel, depending on where you're from and whether or not you like to pronounce things correctly. <laughs> So that's in the bag, plus a Doug Loves Movies t-shirt and a uh, Tito's vodka bandana. <laughs> yeah, I thought you guys might be into that. Uh, a copy of Traverse City Magazine. <laughs> a uh, beautiful Christmas e bong from, from Peacemaker. And... Um, Something else I acquired at the Traverse City Film Festival, a copy of the DVD of a movie called Dog Man 2, <laughs> The Wrath of the Litter. Yeah. And it's all in a Just for Laughs comedy pro bag because I was just up in Montreal at the Just for Laughs Festival and had a wonderful time there. 
And, uh, yeah, all that's going in the bag, plus what my guests bring, but also one other thing that I brought, which is if, like me, you purchase a VIP ticket to a Taylor Swift stadium tour concert, what arrives at your home is this fucking brick of an item. (laughs) Extremely heavy. And... uh, it's a beautiful box. It's got T Swift on the cover. And then when you're like, oh, Taylor Swift sent me a box. What's in it? <laughs> when you open it up, oh, I should get a mic ready for this. When you open it up, this happens. She's excited that I bought that I bought a VIP. <laughs> so yeah, so for the listeners, it's like this pop-up thing, but then there's a video and it shows her doing VR and it's unsettling. And then and it attracts flies apparently. <laughs> but then like you open up another level of it. And, and you get to play peekaboo with Taylor. And then they have like a, uh, a patch and a, a, a light up a laminate thing you put around your neck when you go to the show and you light up and you look special. And uh, a CD and a, a plaque with a ticket in the middle of it. And, oh wait, what the fuck? You could open it further <laughs> if you're one of those people that likes to pry. And you'll eventually find a, a giant book in here called the Taylor Swift Reputation Tour book. This fucking thing. I think this is why it's so heavy. This is the heaviest part is this goddamn book that they hide in the bottom. So, so this thing, this has got to be worth 40 bucks if you eBay it. It's a fun puzzle. Try putting this shit back together. Good luck. Same amount of time, and you'd have a nice uh, cabinet from Ikea. <laughs> oh, everything's falling everywhere. I've ruined this thing. But, uh, so that's going to the prize bag, plus the stuff from my guests. And, uh, you know, I'm sure one of my guests will top this thing. <laughs> so let's get them out here. Please give it up for Arden Marine, Tim Dillon, Kurt Braunohler, and Tom Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for admiring my box. You've got a beautiful box, Doc. It's dog. such a nice box. It's such was, a gorgeous box. I was walking over here feeling like, oh, my box is kind of heavy. No, you got a perfect... But it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it getting my box here. <laughs> oh, let's hey, play what's going on? <laughs> Why is... Kurt Braunohler standing behind his chair. I got a bunch of stuff, so you I have don't so know much stuff that it's just <laughs> taking up your seat. Yeah, he can't go in the express lane with all this shit. All right, so you're gonna have to stand for a little while because I have to introduce everybody. Of before course, we I'm get gonna take to... my time. In that, in that case, I'm taking a knee. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> what are you? Fuck you, Braunohler. Oh shit. What are you? <laughs> He's protesting just me. Yeah, you're protesting the, the giant tall, white man. <laughs> tall people that I love. Oh, okay. Love to past tense is over. Well, finally, a protest of, currently, currently. finally protesting something you love. Such a sweet protest. Girls, girls, you're both pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank My you. friend's dad used to say that when his sisters were fighting. He'd walk through the room and it wouldn't matter what they were fighting about. He'd go, girls, girls, you're both pretty. Because that's what women fight about. <laughs> I'm pretty, Karen. I gotta say, it really, it really raises my hackles when I'm arguing with a man and somebody lo- uses that line. <laughs> like trying to like diminish us by comparing us to women. It's like, fuck you. Does that women happen? are awesome. Oh my God. Wait, does that happen a lot? <laughs> yeah. No, it's a go-to line. 
Oh, is it? I say, girls, girls, you know, you're both pretty or whatever. Do they really? Yeah. Huh. Or just to any two guys, if you call them ladies. Oh, my God. I've never, I did only heard of them. It's insulting. Oh, I didn't know that. Are you okay? Tom is back to protesting, but I feel like he's not, no longer protesting me. <laughs> I could talk about this subject for forever, but <laughs> instead, let's meet everybody on the panel because we got four great people here, starting with Art and Marie. Hey! Hey! Thank you. Hello. Uh, insatiable. On Netflix. Yeah, it starts this Friday. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. And it and starts this Friday. What's, why the controversy, though? I why mean, is it controversial already? It reminds me of, like, Heathers or To Die For. It's like a dark comedy. So and it's, like, not a, it's not a fat-shaming show. Not at all. Not okay. remotely. All right. So what, are the not first, at all. what happens in the first 40 seconds? Does someone, like, shoot a dog and go, I'm insatiable for yeah. dog killing? And they're yeah. like, oh, I'm so insatiable. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Did you, said, did you find out the screen? Oh, uh, I got a screener. That's sorry. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's about like it, it's you know everybody in it is sort of a fucked up character and everybody has like a big hole in their soul but it's everybody's just ter- terrible people trying to fill that hole Doug <laughs> that sounded bad yeah it did <laughs> but also good oh my god thank you yeah thank you that really that one really walked the line <laughs> <laughs> that was a real Johnny Cash that line <laughs> let's also say hello to a first-time guest on the show. It's Tim Dillon, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Very excited, nervous. Nervous and excited. Yeah? Why nervous? I don't know. I've never done it. I don't know. Everyone said it's hard. A couple of people said it's hard. They My did. manager was like, you should prepare. I'm like, what? And they just hung up the phone. He goes, you should prepare. And then just hung up. I'm like, prepare what? I was so... I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens. All right. Well, I mean, you're doing great so far. <laughs> because our honesty is fun. Good. Yeah. There's also no way to prepare for this. Well, that's what I kind of thought. That's, no. You just watch movies. <laughs> I almost get as many as you can I before the show. I almost panicked and like looked up a few actors today. Like I almost panicked and tried to do my research. Just go on IMDb yeah. and yeah, just. just I'm like, just going with the A's. I'm going to briefly study the history of film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially I, oh. the parts that shouldn't be history, the most trivial parts. Yeah, I almost did three, that. Today. Three months ago, when Doug was like, "Hey, you want to do the show?" And I was like, yeah, of course. And then I forgot that I had said yes. And then I got a, I got a text yesterday from Doug. And he's like, see you tomorrow. And I'm like, fuck you in my mind. Sure. sure. And the one thing I forgot is that I've always failed at this show. Sure, sure. Me too. And then my me next too. thought was, what part of my life and or career is he going to drag through the mud on the podcast? Oh, oh well, let's get right to it. Oh. <laughs> Hey, why do you think you weren't in Dunkirk? <laughs> Doug, that's a great question. Uh, as a person who was in two Christopher Nolan movies, I watched Dunkirk. What and happened thought, to you? What happened to your relationship with him? What went wrong? This is a great question. I watched Dunkirk and I'm like, where the fuck is the funny gynecologist? <laughs> At some point, somebody has to get, go to like a proctologist or a guy who goes like, well. I got bad news. <laughs> oh, man. I would have loved it if that opening scene is like, and then all the hats, all the metal hats, and then it's just Tom Lennon looking back to find the bomb. Well, I just, I, I reason I asked that is because I just love that Christopher Nolan told Tom that he was playing the same character in, yes, in two uh, different Nolan joints. And uh, it, that's just bullshit. Um, but you know, it got you through, right? Make, it, really it got gave me through. You, yeah, uh, it was a, the, gave you a through line for your performance. Yeah. By the way, was the UCB stage always covered with flies? No, I've been, been noticing that thing. since I got out here. I think it might be my Taylor Swift box. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like butterflies and flies. <laughs> They might be coming out of this box, too. Oh, really? You brought a box of flies as one of your... Guys, <laughs> please, for the prize home. The stage is covered with yeah. fruit flies. There's yeah. flies everywhere. It feels it's, like it, one of the, a movie where a real bad disaster is about to happen. Right. <laughs> like How did like, they not notice? Flies? How didn't they notice? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's Tom Lennon, everybody, that yeah. we, I was just speaking to. 
I was cut out of Dunkirk, probably. Yeah. And, uh, and also joining us on the stage, but refusing to take a seat. Yeah. Someday it's, soon. Someday, yeah, but not a, not a knee, Tom. I said a seat. It's Kurt Braunhaler! Hi. Hello. Star of Last Summer's Smash, The Big Sick. And then here's <laughs> and there's here's here's what I wrote after that. Yeah. What's next? <laughs> uh, do you want to know what's next? I do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, after the big sick, I was on Lady Dynamite, and now I'm gonna be doing a show ca- a Showtime show called Black Monday with Don Cheadle. You've already yeah. shot that. Uh, it starts shooting in October. Oh shit! What were you out of town shooting that recently? Was, that was the Seth Rogen, Charlize Theron movie. It's called Flarsky now, but it's not going to be called Flarsky in the future. And that won't wait, come out it's till... not called Flarsky now or Flarsky in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Flarsky in the future would be the best name ever. <laughs> okay, so um... <laughs> oh my god, please tell them I said hi. Please tell them I said hi. What's going on? <laughs> Tell them I said hello. Literally. I was reading Seth Rogen today uh, tweeting about how Pineapple Express was never uh, was never a name of a strain of weed. They made the movie. They made it up. Yeah. And then and now it's, you know, you can get Pineapple Express everywhere. And I think the tweet was basically bragging. <laughs> <laughs> but also, if you created a universally bought weed, wouldn't you brag about it? It would be great if I did that. Too bad I'm not known for that. Too bad smoking weed isn't really my thing. (laughs) But yeah, I I, I get it. It, Occasionally somebody will reach out and say that their neighborhood drug dealer calls their strain Benson or or they named a dog Doug. (laughs) No relation. (laughs) No, I think those people are high as well. (laughs) I think it's pretty common. Uh, but let's okay. So we got to talk prize bag with everybody. But I, just so we can get Kurt into his seat, <laughs> I'd like to start with uh, what? What did you bring? So this is a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, Clearly. Okay, so first off, um, this was all of this stuff. I had forgotten my prize bag, and then I just did a, a podcast right before coming here. Jonah Radio, a very great podcast. Oh yeah, you Jonah Radio. Right now. Great. And I won on that show, and so here's what I have to give you. Oh, my you. God. This and is so eight humble on. brags on top of each other. <laughs> First off, you've got a signed uh, headshot of a young Howard Kramer. Wow. Look at that hair. Okay. Wow. Oh. He's in <laughs> such good a shape. Little, the it's, picture is a little crinkled. Yeah, it's a little crinkled. He's been jerking off for the hours way. in the Gelson's parking lot. <laughs> this is how <laughs> It does look oh, like he used ow. it to work off. Actual uh, Howard now is it's a more tiny crinkled. bit crinkled also. <laughs> <laughs> this is not he's far like, fetched. He feels it's like Ralph Macho headshot. and yeah. like a hot vampire yeah. boy. Call and him Chris because he is crinkled. Please hurry. Okay. This is... This is she fun. feels like the opposite of having your bags, uh, having your shit bagged at the grocery store. <laughs> so this is uh, two tapes, which is the complete Andrew Dice Clay, The Day the Laughter Died. <laughs> Tape one and two. Wow. <laughs> Oh, Arden's jerking off with that now. Arden has rubbed her teeth. <laughs> and for some reason, her bosoms. Uh, Los Lobos, uh, the best band in East L.A. collection. And again, a tape. You gotta have a tape player for this shit. Uh, then uh, DVD uh, complete episodes of First and Ten, HBO's first scripted show oh, that features wow. a lot of uh, a lot of nudity. And <laughs> yes, ballers with tits. Yeah, ballers with tits. And then, of course, the Wait, Kurt are there Brownler. not tits on ballers? <laughs> There are, but not nearly enough to get me to sit through ballers. <laughs> and also, where are the fucking ballers from the title? I want to see some fucking balls. <laughs> I'll get in for the ball. Uh, then, oh, I don't like this at all. No. no. There's a Keep It Dry Kurt Brownler towel. It's a towel that has my face on it. And I've used it twice at the gym, so it smells a lot like me. And then... Wait, okay. did you just, like, turn it around when you were at the gym, or were you clearly just toweling <laughs> off with your face? I, pur- I purposely fold it like this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Kurt I don't want to be a dick. Yeah. But I've started to feel like some of the things you brought are just to get the fingerprints of other people on them. 
in the in the event in the event that the DA won't shut up. And he's like, well, I had the dice, I had the video, uh, blah blah blah. It's got a lot of people's DNA on it. <laughs> so you choose. And then this is the last item. Oh, okay. The box is one item. This box is one item. Oh this my God. is. Well, I Gwyneth don't know. Paltrow's head. I think... Gwyneth Paltrow's head. <laughs> How dare you? How this, dare you? I love you. This is a copy. This is. These are all the complete collection of first and ten, all 80 episodes for every member in the audience. Wow. Uh, what? So wow. you got, you got wow. all 80 episodes of yeah. first and ten on DVD. Wow. I don't think those you out. have enough for everybody, but wow. I have close to enough for people who have DVD players. <laughs> oh, okay. So raise your hand if you have a DVD player, and Kurt's gonna walk around wow. and give each of you wow. first and ten the first eighty episodes. Wait, is that the right expression? That, that first eighty? It's gotta be every can't episode. Be right. <laughs> first eighty. <laughs> every episode. Okay. Only take it if you want it. Yeah. <laughs> By the way. But definitely stay on that side of the room because they all brought name tags. <laughs> this side of the room should suffer. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. Guys, there's a test on first and ten later. <laughs> if you take it, I'm going to fucking quiz you when I meet you. Don't, Doug, how dare you take that? Oh, this is like, who knows Edgar Allan Poe's The Mask of the Red Death? <laughs> Thank you. You walk into a venue and everybody's like, hey, it's cool, it's a masquerade party. And then somebody gave you a thing that fucking kills you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Good job, man. He didn't know about the name tags at all, but he knew how to get one of those sweet DVDs. All right, so is this, how much longer do you think this is going to go on for? <laughs> it's terrific listening, I got to say. People are like in their cars. I'm not even going to go into work until I hear this, this play out. Wait, who wants? Does anybody need a box? Is anybody moving small items? D their yes, DVD hey, collection. Do you seriously need a box? Yeah, I'm moving. Here we go. That was the best way I, for for people at home. You just he just went. Yeah, I'm moving. Yeah. That's how you feel when you move. <laughs> yeah. Horrible. He caught the box on his shoulder and handed me something at the same time. That's, a, that's exciting. I was like, I thought I was about to just hit him in the face with the box. What did he hand you? What do you mean, don't open it? Has it got shit SARS in it? Ah. <laughs> SARS. It's got SARS. It have SARS. It's, it's got SARS. It's just SARS. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, well. I, don't I, feel bad having to follow that because I, you know, I don't say to people bring a shit ton of stuff but what did you bring for us uh, Arden? Oh, well I first of all I feel like the most powerful casting director in 1989 <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at a bright eyed Tom Lennon and Howard Crane I feel I mean would you guys be up for the same part? I don't know <laughs> probably not I feel like we're putting together the team <laughs> like <laughs> yeah I feel like I'm the guy you didn't want for like the 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 other guy the main guy's friend right okay and then Howard's the guy you didn't want for the main guy's the guy that kills the other <laughs> the, yeah yeah he definitely has somebody no, under no, his he's got boards. danger he's a full-blown danger he's danger yeah. he's a stranger danger well speaking of stranger danger i only brought two items um uh, okay i'm standing um okay i brought um my little pony friendship is magic yeah. it's a dash of awesome uh that's <laughs> Which is kind of exciting. I bet these two gentlemen are wonderful in it. <laughs> and then I brought um, a, a doll. I brought the Wonder Woman DC Woo! Superhero Girl. And it has a student ID card. <laughs> and it, it's like really kind of very foxy for young girls. But um, she's killing it. And, and that's what I brought for you. Yeah, I think I'll hang on to that. Okay. <laughs> You will never walk out of here alive with Damn. that. Yeah. yeah, she looks good. She's got the lasso of truth, yep. which I love the most recent Wonder Woman movie where there's um, all the women live on an island together in peace. Yeah. But they still, when a man shows up, they have the lasso of truth. They invented a thing they didn't need. Yes. Just so 
in case a thing they never heard of because they didn't, they were like, "What is this? A man? What's a man?" Right. And then and then they throw the lasso of truth on him right away. They like, knew it. Finally, this thing came in handy. And they're gone. Could I, I? So I watched that movie and I immediately thought, "Man, if there was an an island that someone could send me to, where Amazons shoot arrows and then hit me with whips and stuff, it'd be a great workout yeah. plan." Yeah. How, gr- Robin? Right, was so foxy in that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, watching her fight, it was, she was so badass. Yeah, it's crazy. It was crazy. Right. But I want to go to a fat farm. <laughs> <laughs> where I just yeah. land, one day I land, and yeah. they're like, we've never met a man, and now we're going to shoot arrows at you until you're dead. Can I just say what you showed me? Back? So I didn't, you, Wait, what's happening right now? He showed me something back. <laughs> Stage. Nobody knows. He showed me a photo. So we both sometimes take Ambien and then don't go to bed, like fight it. And so like... Wait, you can do that? You can actually fight it? Yeah, so I'll do like, it. Like without the use of like an upper, just like no, just hold I took off? It, no, hold I on. took it two okay. weeks ago and just keep and, punching and yourself in the balls. I ate the, I ate the entire mini bar. I woke up and it was all gone. But you but talking about the fat farm. This guy's ripped. He showed me a picture. He took an Ambien. That was not a... Uh, that was a bad idea. Anyways, he took a photo of him. Can I got. I started a war accidentally with the premier of Quebec. Let's move on. He took a selfie. I like, didn't mean naked. to do that. I it didn't was mean in it. a hotel room it. that it had like the TV was in the mirror and had a, the premier of Quebec was like on where his dick would be and he took a photo and, he, a big and, and, and then I tweeted it. it out and yeah. tweeted it out. Fully, I was fully tripping on Ambien. Ambien is so fun. <laughs> anyway. So those, those ladies worked you out well. God bless. Doug, what are we doing? <laughs> Just well, don't apologize sure. to Canada, apparently. Uh, but I've been there. You were in Canada. I watch you on Twitter. Every, you're in Canada like I go three out of five days a week. I did get week. them mad at me once. But what did you say? What did you do? What did you, you say? Doug, 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 Doug. You said they were rude? <laughs> no. No, they're not. What did you do? I don't want to get into it right now, but <laughs> it's, in, it's in my Wikipedia if you want to check it out. Oh, Wait. wow. Wait. All you, of Canada? Were you arrested? Yeah, yeah. No, the prime minister at that time demanded that I guys. apologize. And this I was did. a diplomatic did, incident? I did, because it seemed like the easiest thing to do. Boo. Jeez. I can't wait to look this Fuck up. That I like guy. Canada. I wasn't trying to make him mad at was me. It, was it Justin Trudeau? Because I'm on his side. No, no. This. This, uh, this happened years if ago. If it's you versus Trudeau, I'm fully Trudeau. <laughs> Even though you and I have been friends for a long time. Well, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm fully Trudeau, but I'm mostly Trudeau because uh, marijuana is going to be legal throughout all of Canada on October 17th. All right, so, but that's for another show that I do. <laughs> we got to talk to Tim about what he brought for Yeah, well, this is actually, this is kind of a replacement gift. Uh, this is true. I was a child actor, and I printed out a beautiful, glossy headshot of when I was a seven-year-old. I was on Sesame Street. You guys know. And uh, I, earlier today, I left it in an Uber. Yeah. What a lucky yeah, driver. It was, it, somebody is having a very creepy ride from the valley here. I called the driver. He didn't answer. So, because so, both, of, both of his hands were busy. Yeah, he was probably being arrested. But I got on the way here from CVS, which is known for movie memory build. There's a lot of great DVDs there. Uh, and when I got uh, these three bags of peanut butter cups, the woman said they're really good at the counter. And I said they're for a podcast. And she went, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So they what are. You, what are you five? <laughs> explaining what things are for when you buy them? I was embarrassed it's for a podcast. I don't. I won't uh, eat all of them. They're unwrapped. You know unwrapped. how ravenous podcasts they're are. Unwrapped mini Reese's peanut butter cups. So I love it. You those can eat them good. and look at those headshots. And By the way, a, the reason old people hate yeah. young people is they yeah. say things like "This is for a podcast," yeah. and old people immediately think "There's nothing for a podcast <laughs> right, right, that right. has ever been." Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's start passing all that stuff down if you guys don't mind. Oh. Thank you for bringing that. And what do you have for don't us, Tom? Really, this is a, a crew hat from a show that never aired called USS Alabama. It's actually a very rare, cool thing, but throw it in there. It's so... You can see it online, but it was so uh, after Reno 911. It is. 
We did a show called uh, the USS Alabama. It lasted uh, a minute and then it was gone. <laughs> How many episodes did did anything air? Never. Oh, no. what did you no. play? Uh, I I played. Oh, God. I played this the is... ship. I, I I wish your name on the show was Al Alabama. Oh. You would. I actually think you would like it. It, it. You can see it online. It's a it's a. It was like the the next iteration of Reno 911. You, you might like it. But what it was, did you, you play? Did you get, it hurt you. You win. Did you get to keep the shorts? I play the acting captain whose name is Glenn Frenchman, if you must know. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of like... There's a lot of like group showers and like tragedy on okay. it. I think you, 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 you would, I think you would love it. I would love Glenn it. Glenn Fr- Frenchman. <laughs> Google it. It exists. I love it. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm very excited about it. And uh, we're running a little behind because there's so many prizes. Kurt. Wait, oh, there's so many or just because of Kurt? <laughs> just Kurt. Yeah. Uh, what a but, terrible problem. Everybody gets a gift today. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly the people who got the gift are Kurt, clapping. The other Kurt, people are sitting there Kurt, like, fuck all of this. I also want to say that, by the way, you just described first and down as a gift. <laughs> Not a curse. That will then collect that you have to figure out how to recycle it. Who here came tonight hoping to get a doorstop? <laughs> so, Tim, I have one question before we get to the game portion of the show. And yeah. Maybe that's why your, your team was freaking out about you being on here, because yeah. it, it is a hardball. Coming, Uh-oh. coming right. I'm ready. At, right at you. Yes, comes I am. In, playing, comes in fast. Yeah, I am playing Roseanne in the remake. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care. Everyone deserves comedy. Go on. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Dillon, what was the last movie that you saw? Oh fuck. Um, the last movie. Did you need me to come back to you? No, the last movie that I saw was um, Mission Impossible, the new one. Fallout. Fallout, which was mm-hmm. written in hours. Uh, it was... Right, just Tom is on really, a mountain, Tom well, is in a helicopter. They telegraph everything. He's <laughs> so like, a, but he, but he the does terrorist stuff. group that they're all against is called the Apostles. That's how seriously they took it, you know? <laughs> the Apostles. Are there 12, 12 And they kill for money... Yeah. You know, no, there's 16 yeah. of them, which as a Catholic made me mad. Right. <laughs> as soon as, like, there's a whole scene where they're like, hey, Tom Cruise, here come the apostles. And there's just unlimited amounts of them. Yeah. I was like, fuck you and fuck you. Yeah. Now jump out of something. But crazy Tom Cruise is the best action star because he does all of it. Like him. Yeah. He's going he's gonna to die doing it, I think. He I don't, I, he's going to die. I got to be honest. I don't think he'll ever die. I, that's the one guy I'm like, he will never die. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the last one I saw. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't be sorry. That's yeah. the last movie I saw, too, except for the one I saw today. Damn it. Yeah. What was the one you saw today? Today I Duh. saw a Puzzle. And? How was that? You on. can't spell puzzle without a few Zs. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> yes. I like that review. <laughs> Kurt, what was the last movie you saw? Uh, Ex Machina. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know you've been busy. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, no, no. I but just wait, rewatched it. Worth, I rewatched this it. This is worth talking about. I had never seen Ex Machina. I was flying home to here. <laughs> Saw it the other day. Holy fuck. That's mm-hmm. a great movie. It's a really good. I was started. I was like drunk and I was like, well, I want to watch something. And uh, put it on. And I was just like riveted. It doesn't hurt that there's like a sex robot who's looking at you. <laughs> and then the whole movie is about like. You would fall for a sex robot, you asshole. Yeah. And then you feel like an asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, checkmate. And then the robot has, uh, it, I yeah. don't want to That part it. where o- Oscar Isaac and his assistant just start doing a choreographed what? dance is so fucking cool. <laughs> it's amazing. Out of nowhere, over before you know it. Yeah, but some good moves. You know him. Tom's learned the whole thing. Arden, what was the last movie you saw? I saw Three Identical Strangers. <gasps> Don't tell us anything, right? It's twisty. Did you see it? I haven't. 
It's the, so good. I just good. said, don't tell us. I anything. won't. It's so good, though. It was fascinating. I don't don't, don't tell part anything. Of us. And yet the title is the end of the movie. No, there's a lot hey, of hey, hey, hey. But how is it not? No, it's more That's than true. that. It's more than that. It gets so. It just keeps going and just going. Just like and Inception, going. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio gets pregnant. The at one, the, end. the one Christopher Nolan movie that I'm not in. I understand. May Thanks I, for rubbing it in. You're and fuck you. I'm May not, I have a little of your wine? Thank oh, you. I thought she was going to say, may I have a chance to speak? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> may instead, I have a, may, may I, I get I... drunk like you? <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. I think you'll like it, Doug. <laughs> yeah, I think it. Oh, the wine or the movie? Both. Okay. <laughs> but right? It's like got some uh, twists. It, it's got so many twists. Like, yeah. just when you think there's not another twist, you're like, oh my God, there's another fucking twist. Yeah. Documentaries the twist is that cool. there's five of them? <laughs> there's five of them. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Two are not quite identical, but... <laughs> <laughs> they don't count that All right. the title it's not as thrilling so it sounds like Tom has let's seen go. everything so let's hear it what's your most recent Last night movie I watched, experience. Uh, my, my son and I last night. It's the night wine watched, that's bringing all these fucking flies around. By the we way, we watched uh, Hellboy <laughs> Two: The Golden Army. <gasps> you did? Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's a great movie. That's, that's a fun one. It holds up, right? Oh yeah. I love that Guillermo del Toro dude. Yeah, he's not. Ne he's pretty much never wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. He was kind of wrong. Yeah, On which yeah one? what was that Shape one with Jessica home. Chastain and the... Yeah, thank you. That one's a strange peak. question mark on the side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was sort of like a uh, like an attempt at a uh, Shape of Water, and then with Shape of Water, he nailed it. Shape of Water, but I'm also, mm. you know, it's also like, mm. is it the Abe Sapien movie or not? Right? Are we gonna get? Any, are we gonna talk about this? Or are we gonna talk about this? Right. Doug Jones is Abe Sapien in the uh, Hellboy movies, uh -huh. and then he's also the fish creature in Shape of Water. Oh, uh, and now, and now what? What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that the Shape of Water is clearly the Abe Sapien origin story movie, but oh, he why won't she fucks talk him until he that? learns how to talk? <laughs> <laughs> The deaf girl fucks some language into him. She's mute. She's not deaf. Fuck you. <laughs> She's not. Wow. Oh, fuck it. Start the dumb questions. <laughs> but yeah. these are good questions to ask. <laughs> these are fair questions. Okay. Hey, by the way, if you ever got really high and watched Amelie, which you never did, I'm sure. I no, but sure. Yeah, I you mean, would also I, make I've the shit. I've seen Amelie, so I watched Amelie High. <laughs> <laughs> the next wow, thing, that's a great idea for the, a show, Amelie High. The next thing you would do was, is you would make Shape of Water. I mean, Kurt, you made a noise about Shape of Water. Did you find it like uh, Kurt was mad? I thought it was a platter of poo poo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't enjoy did it. I enjoyed like the it? first half. Did the tone like changes a, a great deal constantly. First 45 yeah. minutes, I was like, on board. Last 45 minutes, I was like, you stopped writing. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, once you like type out the words, Abe Sapien eats a cat, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> you, he, you've does, made a masterpiece. Does he eat a cat? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no, in the other... Uh, okay. <laughs> sorry. So again. Okay. Again. You, guys, a kiss at home. I would never say to do this. But here's what you do. Meet your friends that have access to mushrooms. <laughs> Watch Amelie and Hellboy at the same time. <laughs> and then While you're just devouring like fully medical grade mushrooms. And then see how you feel. Because you'll be as mad as these assholes here right now. Which assholes? Oh. <laughs> Turn it off, Bert. Let the games begin! Oh my god. Oh my god. Gentlemen and lady, the left side of the room has fashioned some amazing name tags. There's a few over here on the side, too. Don't uh, disregard them, but just pick who you'd like to play for. Just go grab the name tag uh, from the person. And bring it back to your seat. And while you do that, we'll do this. We'll be right back. 
Today's show is brought to you by Espresso Monster. When you need an extra burst of energy but don't have time to wait in line, grab Espresso Monster. Espresso Monster is a premium blend of smooth espresso and cream packaged in an 8.4 ounce can. It's just the right size and perfect for when you're on the go. Each can has three shots of espresso blended with European milk just the way the Italians do it. At 150 to 160 milligrams of caffeine per can, it's sure to give you the energy you need to conquer the day. Espresso Monster has two delicious flavors to choose from, espresso and cream and vanilla espresso. Produced in Denmark and the Netherlands, Espresso Monster is made with freshly brewed espresso coffee, hormone-free milk, and a unique energy blend that's complete with taurine and B vitamins. They sent a few cases to DLM HQ, and we put one in the prize bag tonight. Everyone seems to enjoy the taste and subsequent energy boost. Close your eyes, take a sip, and enjoy Espresso Monster today. Back to the show. All right, we're back. We did it. Name tags chosen. Now, Tim, since you haven't been on before and you're looking at the back of the name tag right now, do not say what it says on the back out loud. No. Just tell us what uh, the, the front says, which is, I've signed this poster already, right? This sign. That doesn't say anything. My name is on there because uh, I met them earlier. Tell us about it. Oh, me? No, I'm sorry with Tim. Uh, it says, I now pronounce you Doug and Mary. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Classic switcheroo. So that's... That's from Mary. Yeah. There she is. Uh, what do you got there, Kurt? Uh, I always wait to go last to pick uh, because I will lose, uh, and so I don't want to ruin anyone's chance. Uh, Except this is, for this person. Uh, uh, well, I mean, I'm ruining their chance, but, you know, if everyone had already gone, who's going to win? Uh, this is Austin Glorious Bastards, uh, and it's got everybody's little head on it. Uh, there's uh, the Jew Hunter, Colonel Hyans Landa. Uh, Aldo the Apache, uh, Lieutenant. Oh, this is actually the names of the people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but they put John Hamm in there and yeah. uh, a couple other people. Yeah, and, and Doug's at cool. the top. All right. There we go. What do you have there, Arden? I have Kill Dill Volume 1, and it appears to have a. Uh, a, a Cigarette and a, a, a blood candy. <laughs> a, a, a jazz that's cigarette. A, that's a blunt and a um, <laughs> an edible. <laughs> oh my god! I only do Ambien because I'm so bad at drugs. <laughs> Let me just see that name I'm tag so for a second. <laughs> Could you just pass it to me for I'm a second? I'm truly so bad at drugs that when I get high, I make people hold my hand because I'm going to go to Middle Earth, so I can't. Thank you. It's a cigarette. <laughs> What if I smoked it? I was high till the Friday. What? <laughs> high till Friday. I get so the high. Art and Marine story. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you playing for, Tom? I'm playing for Sophia and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yeah. Sophia, hi. Very nice. Sophia Woo! My friend who's right here. <laughs> Sophia Loathing would be a good... Uh, Stage name. All right, so those are who you're playing for. I've got a couple of games ready to go, and uh, not a ton of time left in the show to do them. <laughs> I blame uh, Kurt. That's okay. I'm going to take it. I'm the sin eater. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> you want to get into it? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Let's start with Live, Die, Repeat. Yes. Yeah. As you can tell, 8% of the audience loves it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love playing a 100-seat theater because if you just you know, quickly count up the people that respond to something, you know which percentage of the people <laughs> it matches up evenly. By the way, that movie is not called Live, Die, Repeat. Oh, people that like to say that. It's, it's called Edge of Tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you. It's called Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah. You just said it's called Live, Die, Repeat, and you're No, that's the name feet, of this game we're going to play. But you're 80 feet from the Scientology Center. So <laughs> be careful. Get your shit together, <laughs> Braun Heller. That'd be amazing if Tom Cruise used his Scientology power to be mad at people for saying the names of his movies wrong. <laughs> uh, 
But that okay. was the tagline for the movie, and it became a popular thing to call it because everybody thought they Edge of changed, Tomorrow was a they, shitty title. They changed the name of it when it was streaming. They were like, right. just live, die, repeat. But just look in this Leonard Maltin book this gentleman just gave me, and it will not say uh, live, die, repeat, or, or Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> Do your thing. It won't say either. Because that was back when books were printed. <laughs> yeah, this is the 1988 edition, so... You, uh, you don't have anything in here. You hadn't done anything by then. Uh, I might exist. Right, maybe. Okay. All right. So here's how this game works. I say the title of an actual movie, mm-hmm. and the first person on the stage that can repeat it back it, c- completely and correctly is the winner of the game. Wait a minute. What? Fuck this. <laughs> what this is a new is, game. Oh, this is like oh, the I'm, most fun part of this yeah, game is, this. is when people oh. haven't played it before. Like, that's the, the whole game? What? I was so nervous all day. Yeah, no. <laughs> you could have you could have just started being Wait nervous right now. Because I'm gonna say the title of a movie. Just, just words. Just the words. And then you guys This is bullshit. Just the first person who can repeat it back no. wins the game. Yes. Oh my god, this is, you can sit this it is out. You can sit it bullshit. out. <laughs> Do we have to like Go. hit totally it? Totally sit it out. Here we go. Reno. Nine one one. I was just joking to see if Tom would know at least that one. <laughs> All right. So oh, by the way, that's a TV show, not a movie. The movie is called Reno nine one one. Explanation. Colon. Exclamation point. Colon. Oh, oh right. Miami. <laughs> Fuck you. You lost. <laughs> you don't have to <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> but you were wrong today. So wait, do you have to All just right, finish go. it, or do you have to say it? You have to it? say the, the whole, whole thing. every word okay, great. of the part That's good to that know. you oh, won't God. know until I've said every word, probably. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. This is a real movie, but not on anybody's shelf. <laughs> okay. Except for maybe one person who's lucky tonight. <laughs> Sophia or Dill. <laughs> wait, did we ever find out what Dill was short for? Dylan. No. Dylan? Is that true? Okay. okay, okay, great. I guessed. I'm sorry I didn't I didn't think his name was Dill Pickle. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I was kind of hoping it was kill, kill all pickles. All right. I don't like pickles, and I don't like when they put one on your plate, because whatever it touches is going to taste like pickle. What? Uh, Sounds good to me. I like a pickle. I love fair. a pickle. I that's love fair, a pickle. That's fair, but keep it, keep it over there. It's fair. Yeah, I, I don't understand. mind people liking pickles. It's a strong stance, Doug. Are you sure you want to sure you want to say that on the podcast? I mean, I'm not going to say kill Dill. Is that why Canada got I mad? I think Dill should be allowed to be allowed to live. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Dog. Dog bites man. Ooh. Days. Oh. Dog days. The Bounty Circuit Hunter? Dog no, Days Afternoon. Dog Day just, Afternoon. It was just the one day, yeah. Uh, dog, dog Day after. Dog Man. Dog Bites Man. <laughs> man dog, dog Man 2. Dog Man 2. <laughs> dog Man 2, Return of the Dog. Dog Man. man I like where you're going. Dog Man, man two. 2. The Wrath of the Dog. Of the Dog Man 2, The Wrath of the Dog the, Man. <laughs> Dog Man 2, The Wrath of... Cats. The... Dog Man 2, The Wrath of the Canine. Dog Man Dog 2, The Wrath of the Litter. Dog Man 2, oh! the, ma- the Wrath of the Litter. <laughs> Kurt Broadholder wins. Ah! Doug, I'm going to just quickly ask... This is a feature film that came out in movie theaters. Dogman 2? Yeah! The Wrath of no, the No, 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 you did not answer my question, sir. <laughs> I handed you the goddamn movie. And, no, no. It's you real! Had, you handed me a DVD <laughs> yes. of a movie that was never you in think theaters. think I faked it? And it's called, no, no, I'm, I guarantee you it exists. But it's also called Dogman 2, The Wrath of the Litter. And this is not a movie that was in venues in America. Oh, did I say we're playing a game about movies in venues in America? (laughs) So wait. Just because Kurt is Scandinavian, where it was very popular, Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. They're not just they're not just pups anymore. That's the tagline. No, oh, it yeah, is. The not first, really. it is. It says Seriously, in the first anymore. Dog Man, they were actually pup men. Oh yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, not anymore. That movie was never in venues. It doesn't count. Tim, <laughs> I love that it's back a, in the bag. It's a collector's edition. To, just toss it in. All right. Oh. I really, okay. I really wanted you to throw it. I'm excited. All right, next time. Because, you know, DVDs, what are the chances are you're going to hurt them? Break it. Kurt gets to go first in our next game. Okay. Why is that? Because he just won that game. <laughs> he won that game? Yeah, he took it down. <laughs> wait, wait. I listened to the rules. He waited wait, for me to say the whole the title and, and then, then said, said some words. Yep. He I'm said so the This is the only game I'm going to win. He Tom, said give it Man to me. To I love Kurt. Games over all insane. terrible. We're, this is the worst panel. We're terrible. I'm Tom, terrible. Tom, I've devised a series of games tonight that anyone can win. That's the point. Even Kurt Braunhuller. <laughs> Go, 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 go. I'm very bad. So he gets to go first in our next game. Okay. And then we'll go to Arden and then Tom and then Tim. And uh, I'm just going to get from each of you yeah. a number. The game is called How Long Is It? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Great. 12% of the audience loves it. <laughs> I'll name a thing. And then each one of you, starting with Kurt, gets to guess how long it is. And we're doing in minutes? Uh, well, you'll see once you know Great. the question. Fantastic. <laughs> the I'm thing ready. we're looking for, how long is it? Okay, Doug, give it to me. Tom Hanks. Yes. Marriage to Rita Wilson. Oh. How long is it in years? Oh. <sighs> we got a guess in I'm the audience. Please don't two. do that. I'm going to say two. I don't know. You no, think no, that Tom right, Hanks has right, been married right. to Rita Wilson for two years? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's I don't go know to who let's go to Arden. I'm going to go for 32 years. Arden is saying 32 years. This, of course, is uh, Price is Right style. Tom, fuck Arden. That's Whoa. very accurate. What you think? Tom and Rita have been married, and God bless them for. <laughs> <laughs> She, did, could she have gone over? It's possible. Look Tom and Rita have been married for 29 years. Oh, Ooh. that's a burn. That's a real burn. And that's I feel like, like Tom. I feel like Tom's been at Tom's house, so he like has he knows. I only called them by their first names. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like when you're yelling at them on the street? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom, hey, 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 Rita! hey, Tom and Rita, Rita, Rita. I just made a poops. What are you gonna do, Rita? (laughs) (laughs) All right, Tim, what do you think? We have uh, two years, 32 and 29. Uh, Can I split the difference and say 30? You can. Is that what you wanna do? That's exactly what I want. I am probably doing. Is that how you wanna do this? Are we doing prices right? If it's 28, do I win? It's uh, it has to be without going over. Great, love yeah. it. So mm, we have. Mm, 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 had I known mm, that, I would have so, gone thirty-one. Yeah, you're good for 31. two to twenty-seven there, Kurt. Mm. So uh, Kurt says two. Arden says thirty-two. 32. Sh- Tom says twenty-nine. If I knew that. If I knew Tim that. says thirty. And the answer is thirty years. Uh, you did it, Tim. Thank you. Thank you. First timer. First timer. First Thank time guest. First Thank time you. win. I was trying to picture volunteers. Well, you know what? The My manager said prepare, and I prepared. <laughs> Tom. I, I looked at Hollywood marriages <laughs> all day <laughs> at In and Out. And I'm going to make sure it's <laughs> not within eight months. <laughs> Your voice is spectacular. Thank you. It's no one feels that way, but I love that. not in real life. Uh, it's fun for presentation. It's wonderful. Thank you. It was not as wonderful when I was a child actor at seven. It was the same voice. <laughs> so <laughs> he always played young smokers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, to determine our winner tonight, because each game, Tom, as you know. It just means you get to go first in the next game. I'm well aware. It's yeah. this game that's really going to seal the deal. Uh-oh. Yeah, and so Tim gets to go first. We'll switch the order up. It'll go Kurt, Arda, and then Tom, and then me, because I play along on this one. Of course. It's a little something called Last Man Stanton. And, wow, that's over 40%. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I've pre-selected audience members uh, to suggest to us a name for us to use in this game where we each take turns naming movies that that person was in. If you can't think of one, you're out. But each of you have one lifeline, and that's the person whose name tag you chose. You can go to them once over the course of the game. Where's Ty Doggy 19 xx Hey, what's up, Ty Doggy 19 xx Good to see you. Oh, we met at the bar next door? All right. Uh, I'll take your word for it. And listen, T-Dog, uh, what do you do for a living? I drive Uber. You drive Uber. Do you have my headshot? It's good. Uber drivers aren't passing it around, having a good laugh. Uh, okay, so Ty has been selected to give us a name. If we don't like it, I'm going to look and see all your reactions to it. If, ever, if, if we don't all agree that it's a good name to use, uh, I'll get a backup name. But Ty, what do you got? Ice Cube. Ice Cube. So immediately you name a movie with iced tea in it and you are racist. Doug, are we going? Did you, no, we so haven't started yet. We haven't started. I'm just, I'm just looking down the line. How does uh, Arden's not happy about this? I, look at, look say, at me. We'll do it. He doesn't love I say it. Pass. <laughs> well, here's what happens: is yeah, everyone seems like we're we're all on the same page here. Ice Cube's made a lot of great movies. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Time out. He's made some movies. He's made a bunch of movies. He's in movies, and uh, and then he's been on that TV show for forever, right? Of course. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> See, I already no. did it. No. <laughs> and by that TV show, I mean the Ice Cube show. Ice Cube is one of the refreshing members of Summer NWA. All right, you don't have to yeah. say those words. All right. Um, okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> In case you were thinking about saying the words, um, where is Mark Gabble Dabble Dobbin? Did I did I get your name right, Mark Gabble Dabble Dobbin? Yeah. How do you say How do you say it? Okay. See, that's what I said. Mark Gabaldon. Um, okay. So we already heard Ice Cube. I mean, I guess you could. You know, it's up to you what you want to say. But if I were you, I'd I go, would say I'd go ice ahead and tea. say Ice Tea. <laughs> Force us to Just do to it. Just to save Force our asses. Us. But if you've got some other suggestion, it's your call. What do you think, Gabble Dabble Don? Yeah, I, was, I mean, Ice Tea or Ben Stiller, I guess. Ice Tea or Ben Stiller, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Tom would have to recuse himself because he's written three of the best Ben Stiller movies. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's go with Ben Stiller. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, so we're doing Ice Tea and Ice Cube. So no, it's the we're... films. It's the films of either of those gentlemen, and uh, we start with Kurt. Kurt. Yes. What do you got? I this just is have gonna to be name... over fast. I love it. <laughs> I just have to name movies. Uh, yes, Kurt. It's your turn to name movies. No, you have to name a movie that either one of those gentlemen is in. Just one, and then we'll move on to uh, Arden. Gets to go next. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm I, sorry. Oh, yeah, I apologize. I apologize. Yeah. Hey, Tim gets to go first. Fuck you very much. Uh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you, you know what? You weren't yeah. doing him a favor, yeah. really. <laughs> I am so fucked. Uh, can I phone You can go friend? to your lifeline right away. Yeah, let's do that. All right, what's your lifeline's name? Uh, um, uh, is it on the What's back? his name on the front? Uh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Mary. Sorry, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Uh, what's, Mary, what do you got for iced tea or ice cube? Straight out of Compton. Great job, Mary. I mean, I, 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 I say. Ice Cube shows up like at the end or something? Because it's about him as a young man and he was played by Someone his, I, his I don't by know his if son. He's, son. I don't know if he's in that or not. I don't think he I don't actually shows up. Do I have to up. go in? Oh, she says you see him at the end. Um, yeah. No? How, do we, how will we even know that if it's true or not? Because I decide that it's true. Oh, interesting. And then I have the corrections department will deal with it later. That's a good point. Because Tim is not a threat in this game, everybody. Right. We can let him last one round. 
you know what? I agree with Doug. Yeah. Let's try to be nice. Yeah, let's try to There's play a headshot a f- all over the valley right now. Let's play a friendly With a lot game. of failed dreams. Uh, you could be. You, you might, your gonna, phone might ring tomorrow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't even want to imagine Listen, that call. Listen, I saw your, t- your headshot in a right car. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. You just what we're looking uh, for. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... I'm gonna go with my lifeline, yeah, and stay straight out of Compton. Yeah, I think he, he's probably his image probably appears somewhere towards towards the end or something. Right. Thank okay. you. Okay, and there's a guy over there. No. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll we'll deal with that later. Although the corrections department is off for the summer. Kurt. <laughs> any movie this guy? We're going. Ice tea or Ice Cube? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna follow my sword. Oh, you're calling your friend? No, 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 no. no. Friday. Yeah. Friday, of yeah. course. Yeah. Friday. Okay. Thank you. Is next Friday a movie? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Oh my God! Thank you, Kurt. Thank you. It's a miracle. Kurt. Kurt was my miracle. Tom. First of all, it was supposed to go this way, <laughs> so I would have. No, had I said many it was going to go this way. Oh fuck you. Uh, so the answer but is. But anything could happen on this show. The answer is: Are we there yet? Woo. Oh, yeah. very nice. I don't think you need a mic drop after every... Okay. <laughs> I, have I, think, one. I think I do. I have one. You have such slippery fingers. Well, but, it's still it's my turn. Oh. I, like to, I like to play along. I hope okay. I don't take yours. Yeah. I hope I don't trespass You're gonna. on your answer. You're gonna. Maybe not. Trespass. Okay, no. Okay, what's yours? Friday after next. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the trilogy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now we're back to Kurt. He used his lifeline already. No, I didn't. I just said you did. What? <laughs> no, no, you're right. You haven't used it yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go. You're out still some, in. I'm it. gonna go. I, I like involving people. So <laughs> okay, now you're, I'm gonna go now you're gonna go to your lifeline. Life Sorry. Tank girl. Tank oh, girl. Yeah. Tank girl. I'll, I'll go with my lifeline. Tank girl. Very good. It's tank girl too. <laughs> 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 All right, so Arden has to go tank to Dill. Tank girl too. Hey, Dill. Thanks for the candy and the cigarettes. <laughs> Help a sister out. <laughs> I love that we live in a state where it would be worse to give a child candy and cigarettes <laughs> than marijuana and, and an edible. edible. <laughs> hey, Dill. I got nothing. Oh, we got nothing both ways. Wow. All right. All right. Well, thank you for playing. Thank you're, you so you're much. You're a great competitor. I really tried. I was a great competitor. We went at thank it. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You. Went, you went hard. It was hard. Thank you. But uh, Tom, what do you think? So you need to use your microphone voice. My options are either T or cube. Mm-hmm. <laughs> either one. Did you forget, Tom? A lot of hi. <laughs> Don't do crowd work. A lot of stuff happens in between the things. So there's an amazing movie. You're making me forget the one that I had, right? Shut up. That's my goal. <laughs> and uh, there's a robbery on the subway, and Christopher Walken is involved. <laughs> And yeah, show your work. Arthur too. <laughs> I believe that Ice T is like one of the the cool guys who like. Do you want to go to your lifeline? Blows yeah. him away. Because Sophia might know. Sophia, let's talk. Anaconda. She's going. No, that's the movie he's describing. Anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> so save that one you were talking about for later. Now that I've worked out the one with I was talking about. Anaconda. anaconda, yeah, <laughs> which I believe is pronounced anaconda. <laughs> you know, with Arden out, I think we have. You know, I gotta, I gotta describe it. Yeah, she's out, so we're left with three kings, <laughs> and uh, boom. <laughs> that was a great movie. <laughs> oh, I love that movie. That's a great movie. It's the best movie uh, Ice Cube or Mark Wahlberg will ever be. Kurt in. just, <laughs> Kurt just poured. <laughs> Like seventy dollars worth of wine <laughs> into a Bud Light can. Again, it does. Again, by the way, it. this is number two. You never it heard of a, you've good. never heard of a mixer. It does taste good. It tastes very good. It I could tell it was good. expensive wine. I'm happy to have it in a metal cup. I actually also thought this is expensive wine. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Thank oh. you, Tom. You t- it tastes like success. 
<laughs> T- it, welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good. Oh, that is nice. It's good. That's pleasant. Here, pass it around. <laughs> wow, it really warms you up. All right. Tim. Yeah. What do you got? Um, Law and Order the movie. Ooh. I was going to do that. That's yes, a good idea. But you fucked up. You didn't say SVU. <gasps> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm? Hold on. You got something? No, I am sorry. <laughs> well, thank you for playing Kurt now listen I want to point out that one time mm-hmm. I played this game and the, uh, the actor was Robin Williams and I lost on the first round I would like to point that out before I lose you've on this round you've made a strong round. comeback I mean, yeah, I've shown already us that you two. love rappers turned actors thank you so much I've already gotten two if so Robin I... Williams had been a rapper maybe you would have known more of this, <laughs> more of this uh, stuff uh, you know, uh, it's a little-known work that Ice Cube was in called Willow. <laughs> Willow? Was he Willow? Can you prove he wasn't? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Tom, it's just well, you and me. Let's go. Let's do this. You got another one? Of, uh, Did you think of that one you were describing? Describe TQ. it some more so that I can name it. Sure. Um, so it's a T cube. It has to be a T or a Q. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I feel like, am I wrong? Maybe. <laughs> But <laughs> Cube has shown up in a Christmas movie at least once. No. You can't take hints like that. Um, you unpack groceries for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt, everybody got a Kurt. Camp. Kurt, shut your mouth. <laughs> Doug made me come here. And then I watched you unpack groceries for basically 70 minutes. <laughs> which is, like, God bless. That's a lot shorter than two hours. Okay, so my last one is, here we go. <laughs> Cube or tea? Cube. Oh, you have to call it? This is like bar pool? <laughs> <laughs> cube in the corner. <laughs> it's gotta be Cube. <laughs> It's gotta oh, be shit, cube. I gotta write that down for the show's hashtag. <laughs> cube in the corner. It's gotta be cube. And it is my friend. <laughs> yeah. So good. Right, no, it's all right. Uh, it, it is. <laughs> I like that you're telling people who are helping you. It's okay. <laughs> Let them help me cheat. It's okay. It's okay. (laughs) Can I just say it? Just wait to get this over with? Barbershop. What? On the fifth mic drop, it was worth it. <laughs> um, barbershop to you. Uh, By the way, <laughs> colon. Oh, sweet, that's a haircut. <laughs> no, is there By more the words in the title? Yeah. Probably, so I won't say that. I'll just go to what I was already going to yes. say that we all missed until I say it right now. Boys in the Hood. Yeah. Yep. Tom? <laughs> Give us that barbershop too, tag. <laughs> Back in the shop. Still shopping. 
fading out. Barbershop. <laughs> Barbershop 2. Stay out, Whitey. <laughs> Is there a white guy in the second one? Probably. Both. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Who just... Uh, I said, aw. Like, like a puppy was dying. She said, aw, like a puppy was dying. I'm a grown man. <laughs> I love you back. <laughs> but now I'm trying to think of the next. We're out of time. Oh, yeah, geez. do it. It's okay. I don't know. I mean, Go. we're not there yet, too. No, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we, I, you can't say just, are we there yet, too? That doesn't count. Why not? Yeah. That's not what it's oh. called? Oh, oh yeah. Are we, are we still not there? <laughs> are we still miles from our destination? <laughs> Can we GPS it? <laughs> Daddy doesn't want a GPS. I think was the after the colon. At what point during this episode has everyone turned it off? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not yet, because there's somebody paid for an ad at the end. <laughs> But that's okay because Tom Lennon is our winner. Yeah. You won. You said you're bad at it. You're, you won. I won before, so this feels sad. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, where are you at? Come get all your stuff. Yeah. Bring a helper. Yes, Sophia. I hope yes, you have a Sophia. tape player. Yes, yeah. yeah, Sophia. Do you have somebody that can help? Oh, wait, she wants to make a speech. I'm from Reno, and I also have a Taylor Swift tattoo and an NWA tattoo. Yeah! She's from yeah. Reno. She has an NWA tattoo and a Taylor Swift tattoo. There's a tattoo, perfect triangle. Yeah. Which is how to survive in Reno. <laughs> I was on the main streets you of Reno. You don't want my prize? No, I thought you wanted it. Oh, he oh wants I was that. joking around about what you should keep that for sure, yeah. You, you, can, you got everything? Maybe. I think you do. It's heavy, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I, your gifts Yay. are heavy. Yay! <laughs> Sophie, uh, Sophie, congratulations. And here's your uh, name tag back. Hopefully I'll get it all the way to you. Okay. Not quite. <laughs> Didn't make it, yeah. Well, your hands are full. But you gotta, you gotta hang on to that, too. All right, uh, let's do some plugs. What do you got uh, going on, Tim Dillon? Where can people come see you do your thing? Uh, you could watch uh, the comedy lineup on Netflix, episode eight. All of the episodes are good, but episode eight <laughs> is That's me. the one. Yeah, and Tim Dillon's going to hell podcast. If you like podcasts, one guy, thank you. Or girl, or whatever. All right, cool. Thank you for being here. Great yeah. first time appearing. Thanks so much. Yay. Kurt, of course, has been here many times. Arden, what do you have to promote? <laughs> Is it because I took my calendar out, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> no, what's going on, Kurt? You got some uh, tour air? dates and stuff? When does this air? Tomorrow. All right, great. I'm at the Irvine Improv on Friday, August 10th. I'm, nice. uh, me and Jonah Ray are going out on tour in uh, Georgia, Atlanta, and Athens, 30th and 31st. And then I'm in D.C. Uh, the 1st and the 2nd of September. Or the 7th and 8th of September. So come on out. And Where are you at, D.C.? Uh, Comedy Loft. New Ooh, place. New place. New place. Yeah. yeah. And then in Vancouver, uh, September 17th, 18th at Yuck Yucks. Nice. Thank you. Uh, Kill Dill, where are you at? Where's the Kill Dill person? He's over there. Yeah, wait, he you, might have left. You didn't put his shithead on the back. Who's your shithead? He might have died. Kill Dill, are you here? He's just a skeleton He's being now. quiet. Who's your shithead? Work tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I like oh, it. You don't have to repeat it. I'm going to say it at the end. Okay. Uh, Art and Maureen, what are you, uh, Insatiable on Netflix? In Insatiable on Netflix. All the episodes start this Friday, August 10th. It's really good. And uh, I'll be doing Yuck Yucks Vancouver oh. this fall. I'll be at... Hyenas in Fort Worth, and I have host a podcast called Will You Accept This Rose Podcast about The Bachelor. And the finale one goes up tomorrow, and The Bachelor in Paradise starts this week. So much bone zoning, so little time. 
What was the weird thing about the this last bachelor? He was like he was like this he liked all of these terrible Instagram posts <laughs> last night. Yeah. Yeah, he was like it was tough cuz he was like a very sweet dum dum who but we all knew was like a horrible racist, but he seemed very pleasant on television. He was like the most and then you're like ah and she doesn't know all this stuff and he like thought that some of the Parkland kids were like crisis actors and stuff. He like oh, so liked uh, Chris Harrison or that's the guy who hosts it, he comes out and says to the lady... That's no, she. it all came out as the season was airing because he was like, he, he was a front runner and somebody looked at all of his, he liked all this terrible, he liked like, ter- like anti-feminist, like, it, you know, get like kids that are at the board, anything that you would not want to date, he liked. And it was like, and the other final runner up was actually in like a school shooting. He was like a kid that was like, part, like he was a victim, like, at a school shooting, and this guy thought that they're crisis actors. It's a disaster. And he won. He won. He won. He really. He was very pleasant on the show. And then he's like, "Whoo, this is tough." They keep this telling me, "Hang on, it's com- something's coming in." Uh, um, I'm hearing from the booth that they, he's from Reno. <laughs> he's from Reno. Yeah. So sorry go. about that. Reno nine one one exclamation point colon Miami. <laughs> Tom Lennon, what's going on, buddy? Duck, all the same stuff as normal. Yeah, yeah. just drinking wine and wearing camouflage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm in a movie that comes out tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's that called? It's called Dog Days. Yeah. Very nice. Ooh, look yeah. at that. It's a tie in. It's one by, of those awesome Wednesday releases. By Ken. Uh, okay, so I'll tell you this. <laughs> um, when, uh, if a movie's coming out on Friday, and then they test it, and it turns out it's better than they thought. It comes they out on Wednesday. They give it a Wednesday release. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that I'm in a movie that comes out. Hood. Yeah. So I'm in a movie <laughs> that comes out tomorrow called Dog Days, and then I'm in a movie that comes out next Wednesday called Puppet Master. Yeah. Let's hear it for all of my guests tonight: <laughs> Tim Dillon, Kurt Braunohler, Arden Marine, and as always. 15,000 dollar ostrich jackets and the people who buy them are a shithead. Uh, working tomorrow is a shithead. And Dickhead Trump is a shithead. When you need energy on the go and don't have time to wait in line, grab Espresso Monster. Espresso Monster is a premium blend of espresso and cream made with freshly brewed espresso coffee, hormone-free milk, and a unique energy blend complete with taurine and B vitamins. Each can has three shots of espresso and comes in vanilla espresso, mmm, or espresso and cream flavors. Close your eyes, take a sip, and enjoy Espresso Monster today. Goodbye. Now it's time for Doug to watch another talkie. Eyes of Gold is viewing prowess makes him cocky. There's no room 